Hey guys, welcome back to the Rusty Beauty's Garage and today we have a new project that just arrived. Well, I guess you already saw the title and the thumbnail, so without further ado, let me introduce her to you. Yep, she's right behind me. A beautiful 1975 TR6 that has fresh paint on it. Right, so if you remember, um, maybe a year and a half ago, we installed the J-Type overdrive on a transmission that came originally with an A-Type. Turned out that the A-Type was severely damaged and it was gonna cost crazy money to repair it. So the owner bought another overdrive, a J-Type, and we installed that on the transmission. So that's what's in this car. That's the same car. We didn't have the car at the time. We only had the transmission. Now we have the car here. She's uh, in a great shape. I mean, she's been, um, there were a few little patches of rust, the owner told me, that they repaired and then they painted it. It's not an original Triumph color. He told me that's, um, okay, can't remember now what he told me. Anyways, she's freshly painted and he started um, assembling her. Obviously still has lots of work to be done inside but uh, most of it he's gonna do himself but there's few little things that eh, not very little but one two three things that we need to do maybe four so one of them is the soft top so he bought a new kit and he has also the old parts from the old top even the old top is inside here just in case so the frame is over there that's one of the jobs the other job is to install the windshield because there's no windshield on it i have it uh, hidden somewhere so i don't break it <laughs> the windshield we're gonna bring it up later i think the first job is gonna be the, the soft top and um what else um the locks he wants me to install the locks on the doors and maybe maybe we're gonna work on the wiper switch he has an interesting idea here somebody's already done it i'm sure that probably many of you know about this it's a variable speed switch so you can have uh, intermittent with variable speed and then you have first and second speeds of the wipers so um he stole the switch but the wiring is not uh, done yet so maybe we're gonna do the wiring he's trying to find the source of information that he had a few years ago and uh, if he finds it and gives it to me i'll do it for him if not he might be able to do it himself later when he finds the information so these are the jobs that we were contracted for and of course we're gonna test drive it and we're gonna see if the overdrive operates because he never drove it after i um, installed the overdrive on the transmission he actually a few months back he emailed me and he asked me how to wire it and i showed it to him so we will see if he wired it properly and if it operates or not so yeah anyways without further ado let's get crack locking So I do have in my uh, playlist somewhere two videos about installing the top on the 73 TR6 that I restored at work a few years ago, but I figured that uh, not all of you were on the channel at that time, so maybe you haven't seen them, and it's about time to make a fresh set of videos about the soft top, how to install a soft top plus. I learned some more techniques, I made some mistakes in that video and uh, this time we're gonna do it right. I installed four or five more in the meantime so I have a little bit more experience now and I have a little bit more experience filming and editing so maybe I'm gonna provide you with a better information with better angles and all that good stuff. So uh, first thing that we need to do is to install the frame so we're gonna install the frame and we're gonna make sure that it latches properly we're gonna make sure that 
it lines up with the glass here and everywhere because that's very important. If you don't line up the frame properly, then you, you install the top and then you close the doors and your windows don't match. These windows are up and you can see that they match pretty well here. This means that they are in a position which uh, you want it to be. I have to, I have to leave this one and check it because of course, if your frame doesn't line up perfectly with the top of the mirror, the window, you can always adjust a little bit the window, but that's gonna affect also how it lines up here. So that's why we want to work the other way around. We want to line up the window here and then line up the frame with the top of the glass. So anyways, um, let me find the hardware. Everything is in this box. I'm gonna install it and then we will see how it lines up. All right, so I bolted it very loosely. You see the whole bracket is shaking. So there's a backing plate inside the B post that can move up and down. Let me maybe show you on this one. You see, I can move the whole assembly with the backing plate. So that's where all the adjustment comes from. There's not much adjustment on the front, but on the front, let me show you open it a little bit if you've removed these during the restoration you have to be careful how you install them because they have left and right so they are not the same you know this is how this goes on a little bit on 45 the pin points up and when it goes inside it's a nest there then you turn it all the way here and that's where the pin comes so this means that here inside I don't know if you see it. Let me turn on the light, actually. Oh, that's better. So you see here, you have like a slide. It starts from zero here, and it becomes tighter and tighter until it's on the other side, it's deep. So it's like a, a spiral. Let me do it carefully. Like this. And now when you turn this, the pin goes on a ride through the slide <laughs> and it pushes down. So that's how it is. Let's latch the other one. Like we said, a little bit on 45, it goes in and then it goes towards the center of the car. Now we don't have a gasket here yet. That's why it's so loose. But when you have a gasket, you can literally see it pulling it in. So make sure that your receivers are in the correct orientation so now we can close the doors and lift the windows and see how high we want the rear end of the frame might go higher might go lower you know what i mean here you don't have much adjustment but here you have now don't shut the door with the glass up initially because you might break your window you see it touches here so looks like it needs to go a little bit higher so we need to have a little gap here because if we don't then when it's tight that's the other problem that i've seen when i install soft tops that this thing sags like on the other side you see how it's sagging a little bit and your gap is wide narrow wide but that i don't know you can't do much about that Anyways, let me adjust it and I'll bring you back. All right, I tightened them actually as high as possible. I went all the way up and on both sides. And now it looks pretty good here. I mean, we like that. So, so that's where we're gonna leave it. And now we can start with the installation of the top. So first we're gonna have to install the plate here, this one, plate, or what is it called? Does it still have a, no, nope, doesn't have a sticker. But anyways, that's what comes here. And then from here, from these notches, we have the straps. They're like a webbing that goes everywhere on each of these bolts and ends here on these holes here. So for that, uh, first of all, I'm going to chase these holes with uh, a tap because I want to be able to screw and unscrew them quickly. 
and uh, then we're probably gonna put some masking tape here around so we don't damage the paint so we because we're gonna have to put it on and off multiple times i don't want to be responsible for any scratches on this car right we have a small problem here i can't find the new webbing so i went through all the parts that the owner brought and there's nothing like a webbing here he brought this but this is something from luggage or something it has a buckle so it's not that and it's very little anyways so can't find it checked also in the boot nope this is a gasket for the gearbox cover this i don't know gearbox cover that's the hardware for the gearbox cover and checked inside as well nowhere to be found i know for one car i used uh, seat belts which was actually a pretty good idea unfortunately i don't have seat belts so i messaged the owner and i told him i have the old one here which it's not in a bad shape i mean it's pretty solid and it's been removed carefully so we can reuse it this side is not faded so i can put it so i can spray this side a little bit i have like a vinyl spray so i can spray it black and use it this way with this side up which i think it was supposed to be this way anyways anyway um we will see what's gonna what the owner is gonna say maybe he has the new one somewhere in his garage so unfortunately we can't continue with this job but we're not gonna waste time what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the vinyl and uh, velcro that come here and we're gonna glue those in the meantime and if we don't hear from the owner we can might we might even start installing the seals here there's rails with seals inside here which is gonna be easier to install now before the top is in anyways Let's spray some webbing with vinyl and fabric spray. Ugh. I'm try on this one. I'm gonna try the other side first. I'm curious to find out if this is gonna become better. Oh yeah. So this is going to be the side that's going to be seen anyways from inside the car. But we're going to spray the other side a little bit more. We're going to give it a minute to dry. Okay, let's go inside unless you want to stay here and watch the paint dry all right so we have four pieces of uh, vinyl with velcro stitched together and we have two long ones and two short ones the short ones are for the front piece as you can see for here and the long ones are for the rear piece and the velcro needs to end up on this side of this rail so, so i ran out of my favorite glue long time ago actually and i need to go buy some but i can't order it i need to go actually buy it and it's far so i'm using this super 77 by 3m and it works well so i'm gonna spray everything here now this glue needs to be sprayed and then let for a while to become tacky and then it has the perfect strength so i'm gonna apply it generously especially at the edges that's where it needs even if it doesn't glue very well somewhere in the middle it's important that the edge sticks so it doesn't start peeling you know okay let's do the frame now here it is very important to spray a lot of glue inside here because this is where the velcro goes like we said and then the vinyl wraps around and sticks here 
so we need to spray here inside the glue and of course we need to be careful not to over spray here and there so okay the other part that we need to spray is here underneath Oops, I think I always spray it on the windshield. Right. All right, so we sprayed the other side as well. And in the meantime, this side is pretty sticky. So that's what we want. So the short one goes in the front, like we said. So we're going to start from the center to the sides because we might need to cut a little bit at the end. So. I'm gonna stick the velcro, that's the important part. We want the velcro to match the sides. There you go, there we need to cut a little. Actually, let me stick this one as well. Oh yeah, this glue, once you let it dry a little bit, it becomes pretty good. Sticky. If you don't let it dry, it is too liquidy and it doesn't stick and you're like, what the heck? But no, it's pretty good here actually. So we're gonna cut here the front end a little bit. okay this side is done let me show you so the bottom layer covered these holes here but we're gonna make holes again through the vinyl because this is where the rails with some seals attach all right next these are the rails that go in the same place where we just installed the vinyl with the velcro and here are the old ones we're gonna have to take these apart though because the screws are still there so and the owner even kept the pieces with the velcro from the old ones so anyway let's take out the screws and see if we have the nuts because the nuts are not here okay so this rail is installed one the front one but the i left the hardware loose because now you can see that it can slide left and right and that depends on on the glass when it is closed and also you see the holes are slotted. So these holes are slotted this way and the holes on the rail are slotted this way. So you can have little adjustment in this direction too. So this one, I, I started bolting this one, but I wanted to show you this before I do it. You see, it needs to be bent a little bit so it can follow this shape to state the obvious. Okay, so both are now installed, both rails and um, ideally it would be great if we could put the seals now and then close the door and then adjust the position of the rail with the seal the problem is that the screws are inside and if we put the seal we're not going to be able to put the screwdriver there so we have to kind of estimate it. so we're going to close it and you can see here that this the glass is actually under tension here already so that's where it's gonna be so in this case the rails are pushed all the way in but in some cases you might need to pull them out so that's a good place for them and now i can go ahead and tighten all the screws all right so the other side is installed as well, the rails. These happen to be a little bit in the middle. So you see here, you can even see parts of the slots. So it is important to do all these alignments with the frame before you even install the top. So the owner actually asked me before, is it possible that he brings only the frame and the top? And I use, for example, my TR6 or some other TR6 to install the top on the frame so he doesn't need to bring the car because the car wasn't drivable 
My response was, each and every car is individual. You can't install the top on one car and then take it from this car and put it on another car and expect that it's gonna fit perfectly. It's probably gonna fit, but, but it might be too tight or it might be too loose or maybe these rails are not gonna match or even these holes here are not uh, perfectly matching each car. So that's important, you know, the snap buttons here are the last thing that you do. Once the top is pulled and there's no wrinkles and it is nice and snug, then you pull this down and make and put the buttons on the top. So anyways, this is done. So next let's install the seals. So seal rubber rear side and this is sealing rubber front side so we, we need one of each here and rear side goes there front side comes here maybe you should come to the other side yeah window so this part this lip here needs to be towards the window so that's how it's gonna go so that's the front one let's see if it is gonna slide yeah if it doesn't you can always put a little bit of soap water or something but i always try first without because it's better if it is nice and tight if you put soap water then it's gonna start sliding maybe i don't know okay so it might seem like it is a little bit too long, but don't cut it yet because as you're pushing it in, it might stretch a little bit and then slowly, slowly shrink back. So don't cut it yet. Just make sure that this end is all the way to the end of the rail because this is where the two rails match. And push the excess to the other side. And later, maybe a day or two later, if you think that this is too much here, you can cut it, but don't cut it just yet. But you will see what's gonna happen with this one here. That's gonna be fun. Oh. That's always the, the hardest part to install the seal in the front. And again, we're doing the same thing. We're going to align this end here and the excess we're going to put on the outside here in case it shrinks. All right, let's see how it, what it looks like with the window now. There you go. So, all right. So, looks good. Okay, the other side, the seals are installed as well. The front one touches pretty well. The other side is the same. The rear one, not that much. Even though it is all the way to this end, it doesn't touch really well. The window touches the, ma the metal first before it touches the seal. So, that's how it is. Anyways, um, the two straps are painted, as you know, but I still don't have a confirmation from the owner that it's okay to do that. So I'm not going to reuse them yet before I hear from him. I can't install the front seal because the actual top goes around the lip here and needs to tuck underneath. And then the rails are installed and they overlap the vinyl or it's cloth in this case. So I can't do that. That front seal goes last. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pause here and wait for the owner to respond. In the meantime though, I'm not gonna pause completely. I'm gonna pause the video, but I'm gonna start a new one in which we're gonna install the windshield. So the next time you see me probably, I'm gonna have the windshield on the car. Mine. 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 